Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer bringing you a game of Ground War Domination. And uh, playing with some studs here, JCAT, Pro Gamer from the Optic team. Uh, I won't even mention Joe Lozon because you guys always haze me when I do. So, uh, so yeah, pretend I didn't say that. Anyway, I've got a huge decision to make. I'm thinking about this hardcore. And it is what I call going pro. Uh, it, I'm an amateur YouTuber. That's what I am, right? I, I actually have a, a real job. Some people think that this is my full-time job. Stupid stun, Woody. You deserve to die. Karma, baby. Anyway, people think YouTube is my full job. It's not. Uh, I actually have a, a regular job. I, I work at a Fortune 500 company. I try not to name it. I, um, uh, I, I've been doing like pro stuff. I started as an accountant. Now I work as a, as a senior software architect. I have you know two bachelor's degrees and a master's in comp sci. I actually have like a normal sort of you know grown-up career thing going on there. YouTube is, is just a passion for me. YouTube is, is not a job, but, but something I do because I love it. And, you know, in life, if you can make what you love into your job, then you're doing something right. If you can take, it's called, the concept is called avocation. If you can, if you can follow your dream and turn that into how you make your living, then you're in really good shape. And that's what I'm thinking about doing. Now, Now, computer programming was that for me. Computer programming was something I loved, 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 loved. I did it before work. I did it during work. I did it after work. I just couldn't get enough of it. I sat there and read, you know, Grady Booch books for entertainment and, and just couldn't get enough of it. But I've been doing it for like 18 years now or something. I started working grown-up jobs early and went to college at night. That's a different story. Anyway, I, uh, I, I just, you know... I, this YouTube thing is a passion of mine. When I'm not making videos, <laughs> or dying in, in Black Ops, when I'm not making videos, I am, like, I don't know, arguing about which Call of Duty is the best in comments on YouTube or on Reddit or whatever. You know, I, I'm reading gaming sites to see when new things come out. You know, when I'm not playing Xbox, I'm, I'm checking out what is to be expected in the next patch or in the next Xbox console. You know, the, the 720 is still the working title for the thing. I... I live and breathe this stuff and do it all the time, paid or unpaid. And if I could turn this into my living, if I could make this lucky to survive their bad shot, if I could make this what I, all, what I do all the time, if I could turn my hobby into what, you know, puts food on the table exclusively, then that would be awesome. So you guys might think, well, you're already getting paid. Yeah, yeah, but I can do better than this. This is not the best channel I know how to run. I can do more. I, I well, for one, I see a lot of the most successful guys you know, in the gaming area do more than one video a day, right? You know, so, so I could step up my pace there, right? Maybe add a live com to my daily commentary and, and do those too. Um, maybe I could play more game battles and, and get that sort of stuff worked into the channel more than I do now. For sure, I think I would live stream a lot more than I do today. You know, and, and I think I can interact with my subscribers a lot more than I am right now. You know, right now, if you send me a message, I just can't get back to them. And, and I still won't be able to get back to them all, but I can get back to many more. I can get back to many more of these guys. And, uh, or maybe I'll run a second channel. I had this, you know, I've had crazy ideas for, for channel ideas that weren't gaming related. I can do more in this area. And, you know, I am not, if I look at who I am, if I look at how I'm doing, I'm not such a terrible bet. Right? You know, if you say you want to be an actor, yet you're not doing anything to make that acting career happen, I'll tell you, don't neglect your math studies. You're going to have to make a living somehow. But, you know, if you tell me you want to be a pro basketball player, and you're already the best guy on your Division One college team, then you have real potential. You could be that guy. You could actually live your dream of being in the NBA. And I can too. Not the NBA, of course. I suck at basketball. <laughs> but, like, if you look at my YouTube channel and I say, you know what, I'm thinking about going pro, I think people would look at it and say, well, Woody, you have shown a little potential in this thing. You're not just a, a crazy long shot. You've demonstrated that you might actually be good at this thing. And if you devote your full effort to it, you could, you could be even better. And, and that's where I think I am. Even if I look at my own channel fairly harshly, I look at it and think, well, this thing's not a total failure. You might have the potential to turn this into something greater than it is right now. And, and that's where I stand. So, 
<sighs> I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I'd love to hear what, you know, it, it, like, yeah, Woody, go ahead, make it, make it. Because if, if you can follow your dream, if you can turn your, your hobby, if you can turn your passion into your career, then you're doing something right. And that's my goal. My, my goal is, is to take, you know, my hobby, my passion, my, my desire, and, and, you know, leverage that so that it can be something that I do full time so that, you know, I, I wake up in the morning and, and do this. And then I have people in the peer group that make it feel possible, right? You know, like I know white boy, I know FPS Russia, I, I know syndicate, I just talk less to syndicate, but I like syndicate and we get along fine. I, I know wings of redemption. I know guys who have gone pro at this and they make it seem possible. They make it seem like it's not just a silly dream. It, it, you know, it, you see these guys who, who are living it, and it's like, wow, I can live it too. You know, it, it, there are days where I wake up and I sit in meetings that are just really hard to live through. I don't want to put down work, but, you know, sometimes these meetings are the opposite of fun. And then FPS Russia will send me a text message of a pickup truck just filled to the brim with watermelons that he's going to explode. And I think, I want my life to be that awesome. And then I think, you know what? You can make your life that awesome if you just take a chance. If you just take a little bit of a risk, then you can have that too. You can grab that brass ring and you can make it yours. And it doesn't seem like such a crazy long shot. It seems like something I can do. So, so there you have it. I dream of going pro at this thing. And I don't think that, that I'm going to fail. I think that I can make it, make it so. So I've talked to my wife about it. And my wife, oh, God bless her. She's so supportive. My wife loves me. My wife thinks that I'm going to do well at everything that, that I set my mind to. And, uh, and that, that level of extreme support in some ways is so delightful. In some ways, she's like, of course, Woody, you can do it. You can do anything. You're the man. Uh, in some ways, that is crazy great. In other ways, though, it puts all the responsibility on me. If I told her I wanted to be a circus clown, I honestly think she'd be like, Woody, you'd be the best damn circus clown the world has ever seen. If, if I told her I wanted to make a living juggling or riding a unicycle, I think she'd be like, you know what? I have faith in you. But that level of faith also, it has like the other effect of sort of shifting responsibility onto me. You know, because she supports everything that I set my mind to, it means that I need to set my mind to the to things responsibly. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to get messed up. So, uh, so yeah, this is the big decision that I face. This is what I have in front of me, and the time is ripe. You know, November's right around the corner. Gaming season is about to begin. Do I do this thing? Do I pull the trigger? What is up? Let me know. I'm interested in what you have to say. All right, that was today's video. If you enjoyed it, you can click on the red box and subscribe to me. Two videos you may have missed. On the left is Wings of Redemption story time. He did this really great deed, helping someone in, in need, and they brought him into his house, and the guy ate him out of health, house and home. It was really funny. It was great. On the right, I talk about gaming season. Gaming season is coming. All the cool releases that are that are headed our way. I'm totally jazzed about it, and, uh, and I had to make a video. So uh, watch one of those. Sub to me. Like it if you like it, and have a nice day.